So ScanWise is a programme for young people um, and it was designed for young people in the uniform sector and it was a partnership between the police, the Consumer Council and all of the six uniformed organisations um, and it's really about educating young people, helping them learn about scams, how to spot a scam, what to do if um, they think they're the victim of a scam or they know someone who's the victim of a scam, like who to report it to. And it's just really about them educating them so they don't get scammed in the future, whether it's on the internet or on telephones and stuff, getting bogus calls, things like that. But it's also um, so that they can tell their parents and their grandparents as well, you know, for scams to watch out for, because you're always hearing on the news, you know, somebody's been scammed out of their life savings and things like that. So it's really just helping them learn about the types of scams and identify ways of spotting them. Um, the programme has about 15 different activities, I think, um, and they're all varied from really simple ones like making a bookmark with like different um, how to spot a scam signs on it, or there's ones where you could do a more creative, artistic big wheel with all different scams. So it's just fun activities. There's role plays, there's quizzes, um, there's like you can be a detective and read emails and stuff and identify the key factors that show you it's a scam. So lots of different activities that would suit lots of different young people and um, they can pick whichever ones they're most interested in um, to do and each of them will teach them about um, I suppose an individual type of scam and what to do about it. So sometimes there's a bit of work to be done beforehand talking about scams and what they are before you can do some of the activities and others the activity itself will help them learn about. A lot of interactive things like we're moving away and then some bits we were sitting down and like learning about it. It, was, it wasn't like like learning, learning, it was like getting taught. But we were talking it. to each other and trying to see our own experiences and identify what ones are scams and what aren't. Well I found it very helpful because uh, these things do come up a lot and especially towards like phone calls and all a lot of people have phone. emails and text yeah. messages and we even saw examples we knew what to look at now I, I did it was very helpful because i actually did go explain to my family and all how it was so important that everybody did need to know about this and it was really good that i was actually brought in to like a whole program so they're aware of how do, how do i spot this scam and then what do i do to stop it who do i contact um, you know, who do I tell about it and, and the different agencies and also you can learn about things like um, you can get stickers to put on your door to make sure you don't get any junk mail, um, there's a phone company you can register with to make sure you don't get any unsolicited calls and things like that. So even just learn about that for their family so that they can, you know, make sure that they're less likely to be targeted really. Um, well there's a lot, there's emails, you can get letters, you can get phone calls, text messages. And trying to trick you into buying stuff to yeah. make money and not help you. I haven't heard of any specific cases. Thankfully, nobody has been targeted or tried to be targeted. I think um, it was surprising that a lot of them were aware of scams that they had seen on Facebook, particularly around maybe like online gambling or try, you know trying to hook young people who are on social media into them, you know, just to hand over money or whatever. But. Thankfully nobody has been scammed yet and hopefully this will help keep it that way. I got a phone call saying you were in an accident lately and I, w I can't even drive. <laughs> <laughs> well before I was very like, I wasn't fully aware of everything that could happen. Like with the emails I wasn't fully aware of what to look like because I did it before. But now that guys has brought it in as a whole like big app program yeah it is made us so much clearer and i know now exactly what i have to look out for yeah the, the four steps, steps to stay ahead of a scam are seems too good to be true ask for personal details money is requested <laughs> <laughs>